When you think about the great accomplishments in your life thus far, what comes to mind? We all have these sort of mile markers in life where we might have achieved something. Maybe you've run a marathon, written a book, started a business, different things that you know we're proud of. We say, you know what, hey, these are great accomplishments that I've had in my life. I want you to think about that great accomplishment or accomplishments that you're thinking of right now and go, hey, you know what, what do all of these great accomplishments have in common? I ask that question because all of your great accomplishments have one thing in common. They all required action. They all required action steps taken on a daily or weekly basis that actually built towards something that you would call a great accomplishment. And so as you pursued these things or were on the path towards these great achievements, maybe even you didn't even know that that was the path you were on and then you ended up there, but you pursued this, you've got this bias for action, you're taking this action towards this goal, dream, whatever it is, and it's become a part of who you are. It's become a part of your identity. So you become a writer, you know, as you write a book or you become a runner as you've run a marathon, you become an entrepreneur as you built a business or whatever that is, but these things, these actions add up and begin to build who you are. They become a part of your identity. So now as I look to the year ahead, as 2023 is just around the corner and I'm so excited, I'm thinking about goal setting and dreams and plans that I have for the new year and I'm going, you know what, I've spent a lot of years doing goal setting. I've tried a lot of different things and I enjoy that process. I love getting things down, getting it on paper, keeping it in front of me. I sort of understand that framework in that context. I said, you know what, when I look at 2023, what I believe that I need is to take my goal setting to another level. I need to be able to take those goals and actually put some action steps behind it. I needed to know how do I take that goal from over here for where I'd like to be a year from now and actually put that into a plan that's going to allow me to step off into the right foot as I head into January 2023. So I built one uh, and I want to walk through that today and I want to share that with you today as a resource. If it's of you know, value to you, I hope that you can use it as you launch into this year because in 2023 I believe is going to be your best year yet. I know that God wants to do incredible things in and through you. So let's take a closer look at this action plan and see if it might be able to benefit you in your journey. James Clear is the author of Atomic Habits and he has this great line. He says, you know, decide the type of person that you would like to be and then go prove it to yourself with small wins. So it was this sort of thought process that I had in mind. It was like, okay, let's take the goals that I've got for this next year and then just take it one step further. Like what are the small wins that I can begin to set myself on the track for right out of the gate as I walk into 2023 to build some momentum so that I can walk towards that vision that I believe God has for me in my life. Now, when I look at goal setting, I like to look at goal setting in the different areas of my life. I get it, life is complex. All of these areas intertwine, overlap. They're all a part of one life that I get to live. But I like to look at goal setting and I like to look at it in terms of my health, my finances, my faith, you know, my relationship with my wife and time with my family. What about my occupation, work, career, this channel? What, you know, what do I wanna do with that as I head into 2023, you know? I like to look at my life in these different sections. And so I did that here with this action plan. I look at the different sections of life and ask these questions sort of to give myself bite-sized pieces that I can walk into 2023 and take some actionable steps. And so the first question I ask myself is really a vision question that says, you know, when I sit down at the end of 2023, beginning of 2024, and I wake up and I say, you know what, I'm living out God's vision for my life in the area of my health or in the area of my finances. What does that life look like? And for me, when I ask that question, it's really asking, you know, what's the vision for my life a year from now? And it plays a video in my mind. I get this video of myself, you know, out with my family, hiking, healthy, active. I'm eating healthy. I can feel it. I can feel that health and vitality in my body. And I go, okay, wow, you know, that's a vision. It's not always easy to maybe put it down onto paper, but I've got this vision, this idea of what God's saying to me, saying, you know what, this is the direction that I believe you should be going when it comes in terms of your health. And I know that. I can feel that in the core of who I am. I can feel that he wants me to live a healthy life and be that example for my kids and be healthy for my children and my family so that I can continue to serve and support them. Now that could be a little bit tricky to capture and write down into words, but I'll do the best I can. Don't get stuck there. Try and capture that vision in your mind as best you can. Play that video a couple times. Take out as much as you can so that you can get it down on paper. You know, what do I want my life to look like in this area? What do I believe God is calling me towards when I'm living out his purpose in my life in the area of my health or my finances or my relationship with my spouse? Whatever that is, capture that down onto paper. And so I've got this sort of big picture vision here for my life in this area of my life for the next year. Now I want to bring it down all the way granular and ask, you know, well, what's the action step? What's the action step that I can take on a daily, maybe 
weekly basis, if depending on the area of my life, that I can take consistently over time, over this next year, that's gonna set me on the trajectory towards this vision. What's that action step? And here we need to be really specific. I know for myself, I need to be really specific. You know, I need to say, hey, you know what? On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, I'm gonna get up and before I go to work, I'm gonna go for a 30 minute run. And I'm very specific about this is gonna move me towards that goal. This is going to move me towards that vision that I believe God has for my life in the area of my health. And whatever that is, make sure that it's clear. Ideally, it's simple. Something that's bite-sized. Something that you can say, you know what? I can do that. You believe that, right? You say that. I can do that. And I know that that is going to set me on the right trajectory towards this bigger, grander vision. And now, because I'm sure that your life is probably similar to mine and that my life is full. I've got three kids on, you know, five and under. I've got a full-time career and job and this program and everything that I love to work on and all of these different things that I believe God is calling me to and towards. So my life is full. And when I say, hey, you know what? I'm going to pack in this extra thing. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to get up earlier and go for a run for 30 minutes, three days a week. Like that, that's not going to fit. Look at my life. And maybe you're in that similar chair. So the next question I wanted to ask myself as I walked through this and I'm saying, okay, so here's what it's going to take for me to move towards that vision. Then I want to ask myself, well, is there anything that I need to change in my life right now? Is there anything that maybe I can cut out or remove to make space for what I believe is the important steps that I need to be making? That bias for action for 2023. Is there anything that I can cut out? I, you know, I'm doing a time audit. I'm looking at, well, how do I spend my time? Do I need to be able to tell myself, hey, you know what? I got to get in bed, you know, a little bit earlier so that I can get up a little bit earlier so that I can make this happen. And what, what does my evenings look like right now that maybe I need to change that up? Or how do I need to look at my finances differently? What can I potentially cut out of my spending so that I can have the finances to do the things that I want to be able to do, to have the opportunities that I want to be able to have and give and support the initiatives that I believe are important to me. There's different things. And when we do these audits of ourselves, whether it be in our finances or time or whatever it is, we know that there's space there, right? Like we all get 24 hours in a day. Nobody gets more. Nobody gets less. We all get 24 hours. We're blessed with the same thing. And we look at it and go, yeah, you know what? I am busy. I do have three kids, you know, five and under and all of this great thing that's happening in my life. But I also still watch shows on Netflix. Nothing wrong with that. But maybe I could cut out part of that time or maybe I could take some of that time and be on a treadmill instead of just sitting on the couch, whatever that is. Right. So I guarantee there's probably space capacity in your life for you to trim, make adjustments to be able to work towards getting these sort of action items into your life. And when you do this, when you identify the clear action that you'd like to take and also some of the items that maybe you can change, adjust or cut out of your daily life, it's going to allow you to take those steps forward and you're going to collect some wins and it's going to begin to build your identity. And just like we were talking about when we talk about great achievements in our life. It's built by a collection of small wins that becomes a part of who you are. So Greg Reed has this great quote. I'm sure you've seen it, but it says a dream written down with a date becomes a goal and a goal broken down into steps becomes a plan and a plan backed by actions makes your dreams come true. We all know inherently that we can have goals and dreams, but the connection between the goal and dream and our reality is the action steps that we're going to take. So I want to believe that this action plan is going to benefit you as you walk into this new year, because I know that 2023 is going to be an incredible year for you. I know that God wants to do amazing things through you, through your personal growth journey, through your leadership journey. And I'm excited to share that journey with you as we head into this new year. So head over to jasonalcott.com. You can grab a free copy of this PDF, download it, fill it out over the holidays, or there'll be a link in the show notes here for you to grab a copy if you'd like one. And I'm excited to hear what you learn. Feel free to find fire back at me, hit me with questions or whatever it is, but I'm really excited for how, hopefully how this can equip you to walk into 2023 and everything that God wants to do in and through you. Have an absolutely blessed rest of your day. I will talk to you soon.